What's it like to be one of the older guys? Are you, you're not really one of the older guys, but in the receiver room yeah. you are. Years spent in Tennessee, yeah, one of the older guys. Uh, it's definitely different. Uh, definitely trying to like adjust to that and kind of get used to that role of being the, the guy that, you know, guys in the room look up to and, and look to for answers and, and advice. Uh, but it's awesome, you know, I'd, if you told me this three years ago, I would love it, so happy to be here. In the preseason, what was it like when they told you that you weren't gonna play yeah. in preseason games? For the guy who had to fight and you wanted every rep you could possibly get. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a shock to me at first, you know, that first week against Baltimore. Um, wasn't really expecting it, um, but very appreciative of them trying to take care of me. Um, and then going in the next week, I felt it was kind of nice to be able to actually play and get some some game reps and kind of like feel like what a game is going to be like, get through, you know, the pregame nervousness, anxiety, and, and just kind of work through that. And, and that way, you know, once the season comes, it's all just normal and back to normal. Uh, and then to be able to then take care of me again, you know, that last game was, it was a blessing, honestly, you know, just to, to see how far I've come here and then the respect that I've earned. But now that you have a set role, how much does that actually give you an opportunity to improve because you know what to expect out of your job every day and every week? That's, yeah, I feel like that's a huge thing. And like, I haven't really, I've had that thought, but not been able to put it in words until you say that, but like having a role and like understanding exactly what it is, it just gives you that much more confidence. Like one, just to be able to know that I can try new things, I can make mistakes and kind of still feel okay that, you know, I can, try to get better and, and figure out what works, what doesn't work. And I don't have the ramifications of like, oh, I might not make the team if I do this. So it's been huge in allowing me to play fast and, and confident um, and just, you know, be the best receiver I can be now. But that scrappy dude's still in there. Yeah, he's still in there When for does sure. it come out? Uh, I feel like when, you know, times are tough, you know, if I'm, there's definitely practices that I've struggled and I'm like, all right, now I got to lean back on, you know, what got me here and just, play my tail off and try to do everything I can to fight and grit, you know, for a spot. True pro already. I know he's a young receiver, but he's consistent. Being able to continue to get separation, uh, doing the same things every single day, getting open, contested catches, a reliable receiver. You have had the opportunity to be around a lot of guys who could be influential. Very cool in that way. So let me ask you the perfunctory Robert Woods question. What does it mean to be around him and what have you learned from him? Yeah, it's been awesome so far. Um, being around Rob, like he he brings like a, a sense of urgency. I feel like every day into practice, and I can just like see his mentality and the way that he gets ready for practice, approaching it like it's a game, like he's you know preparing for the Super Bowl. We're super tight, and our lockers are kind of right by each other, sitting meetings close to each other, We're always communicating, asking each other questions, uh, always trying to get better. Um, whether it's me asking him or him asking me, uh, we're really just trying to improve our whole room and kind of following that standard and like understanding the way he practices, I feel like I just, I, it's almost infectious. Like I, I see how hard he works and I want to do the same thing and work just as hard. So that's probably one of the biggest things that I've learned from him so far.